Good evening and welcome to live streaming worship here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead, the rector here. It's great to be with you over the internet in this fourth week of Advent, attenuated as it is, because as we know, uh, beginning tomorrow actually, we'll have uh, Christmas liturgies. Uh, tomorrow we do uh, a little kind of like preview of Christmas. Uh, we do a quiet Christmas here on the 23rd uh, at 6 o'clock. We'll join with Father Rob, who will lead us through a quiet, meditative Christmas liturgy. Uh, especially good for those wanting to wind down before perhaps what is uh, stressful or otherwise just kind of uh, not unpleasant, but, um, you know, maybe not the happiest holiday. So uh, come and join us with that at, uh, at 6 o'clock. We'll stream that as well. Of course, on Thursday, we'll have our 4 p.m. Uh, nativity pageant, uh, which will be slightly different than usual uh, because of COVID and all of that. Uh, and then at 7, we'll have a... a, a an organ concert with our bell choir, and then mass starting at 8, 8, or 8 p.m. for our Christmas liturgy. And then on Christmas Day, Friday the 25th, we'll have a, a, a Eucharist here at 10. So uh, looking forward to a wonderful set of Christmas uh, worship and hope that you join us either as you are now, uh, wherever you are online, of course in person, socially distant and wearing a mask. All right, enough of that. Let's go pray. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant our most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant your absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance in them and of life, the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 116 and 117. Psalms 116 and 117, beginning on page 759 of the Book of Common Prayer. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me, the grip of the grave took hold of me, I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord, O Lord, I pray you have saved my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent, I was brought very low and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. I believed even when I said, I have been brought very low. In my distress I said, no one can be trusted. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. 
I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Loud him, all you peoples. For his loving kindness towards us is great, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. In that day the root of Jesse shall stand as an ensign to the peoples. Him shall the nation seek, and his dwelling shall be glorious. In that day the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant which is left of his people, from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise an ensign for the nations, and will assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim will depart, and those who harass Judah will be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. But they shall swoop down upon the shoulder of the Philistines in the west, and together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching wind, and smite it into seven channels that men may cross dry shot. And there will be a highway from Assyria for the remnant, which is left of his people, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. Here endeth the reading. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation to John. Excuse me, a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the division of Abijah, and he had a wife of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless, but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Now while he was serving as priest before God when his division was on duty, according to the custom of the priesthood, it fell to him by law to enter the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside of the hour of incense. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing in the right side of the altar of incense. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great before the Lord. And he shall drink no wine, nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn away to, of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. Turn many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before them in spirit and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, and to make ready for the Lord a people prepared. 
Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel, who stand in the presence of God. And I was sent to speak to you, and to bring you this good news. And behold, you will be silent, unable to speak until the day that these things come to pass, because you do not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. And the people were waiting for Zechariah, and they wondered at his delay in the temple. And he came out and would not speak to them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, and he made signs to them and remained dumb. And when his time of service was ended, he went into his home. After these, day, after these days, the wife Elizabeth conceived, and after five months she hid herself, saying, Thus the Lord has done for me in the days in which he looked upon me to take away my reproach among men. Here ended the lesson. Nunc dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, O Lord, that thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, O Lord that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. Beseech thee, Almighty God, to purify our consciences by thy daily visitation, that when thy Son, our Lord, cometh, he may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, that liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's say the second prayer for mission on the top of page 71. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, who breasts the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Now as we enter into just a couple of minutes of intentional silent prayer, if you want to add any of your intercessions and thanksgivings to my own here in the church, that'd be great. And then, of course, if you want to share them with your brothers and sisters in the comment section, please feel free. Thank you.
the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we then unworthy servants do give you most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be infinitely thankful, and that we show forth our praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to thee, and has promised to thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. All right. I hope you all have a lovely evening, and we look forward to joining you here uh, at 6 tomorrow for a quiet Christmas, and then, of course, uh, take a look at the rest of our schedule. It's right below this on our Facebook page, probably a couple back, but you'll find it uh, for our Christmas liturgies. All right. Take care.